we have 1-5, identify complementary and supplementary angles. Number 13, find the angle measurement. We know that angle A is complement of angle B. We know that angle A is 36 degrees. Find that angle measurement of angle B. Drawing this, a picture should help. We know that complementary angles make 90 degrees. So we can draw the angle here at 90 degrees. Okay. Then we can now label that angle A is complementary. So this can be like angle A. That's complementary to angle B. Okay. They form that 90 degree angle. This is 36 degrees. We don't know what angle B is. So we can write that angle A plus angle B is equal to 90 degrees. That's what complementary is. Angle A is 36 degrees. We don't know what angle B is. That Okay. Now we can subtract 36 to both sides. Leaving you here with angle B is equal to 90 subtract 36. Okay. So 90 subtract 36 gets us 54 degrees. So this angle here is 54 degrees. All right. Next, we see that angle C is is supplementary to angle D. Supplementary means add up to 180. So if you want to draw the image, it's this straight line. Okay, let me draw a straight line here. Okay, that's the straight line. And then it is made up of the angle C. So we can write angle C and angle D. Angle D is 117 degrees. So we can write angle C plus angle D has to be supplementary, which is add up to 180. We don't know what angle C is, but we know that angle D is 117. That together adds up to 180. If we subtract 117 to both sides, okay, this cancels, leaving you with angle C is equal to 180 minus 117 gets us 60 degrees. Okay, there you go.